So welcome back everybody. My name is Andrew and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life and I've got a special guest with me today. This is Josh from Hardy Brothers Outdoors. By the way, if you want to check out his YouTube channel, similar to ours, I'm going to put a link down in the description. So Josh, well you're in the area and where are you originally from? I'm originally from uh, Columbus, Ohio. All right. So. so you're a long way from home. And he brought some cool weather with him down here to do some work. But he is in our area because we're both going to be visiting an uh, expo here in the next couple of days. And he made the mistake. He said, since I'm in the area, can I swing by and do some work on camera? I said, absolutely. We love doing work. And that's exactly what I intend to do today, put you to work. That sounds good, man. That's what I'm here for. That's right. So on the agenda today, you see we got the dump trailer behind us. We just recently got hit by Hurricane Adelia. And if you look in the background, we've got dead limbs and stuff hanging everywhere. Well, that's a problem. Those are hitting the tractor glass. I need to do a lot of pruning and cleaning up. So while we got the dump trailer hooked up to the truck, I'm going to put him on the pole saw. We're both just going to fill this trailer up, go back and dump it in a spot. And we're going to save the wood chips that we're going to make out of this. So we're going to pull out our Solus tractor with a wood chipper on there. I don't know if you've ever run one of those, probably not on that particular tractor. Not, not the uh, wood chipper, but the Solus tractor I have. That's yeah. right, and we're gonna make a wood chip pile. Speaking of the uh, Solus tractors, well, he has one as well, the same exact model as mine. So if you're interested in watching videos on those tractors, again, his channel link's down in the description. Go check that out. You've got quite a few videos on that tractor on your channel, don't you? Yeah, I'd say we're approaching about 20 videos right now, and we've had it going on uh, I think since February. All right. But uh, that show that we're headed to in uh, Moultrie in a couple days here, that is, uh, that's where we met up with the Solace people a year ago. That's right. All right, stay tuned. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. All right, so today we're going to be using my steel pole saw. This is the HT56C. This is kind of their homeowner version that works really, really well for the work that I do. And I don't do a tremendous amount of tree trimming. So let's get this thing fueled up and start dropping some limbs. All right, so what I'm trying to accomplish here is cut anything up in two that's hitting my glass cab tractor. So we're just too overgrown. We've got stuff everywhere. I've been needing to do this for quite a while. And if you don't stay on top of all these limbs, you just start losing property. So see, technically I need to be mowing up underneath here, but all this stuff's in the way and needs to go. The last thing I wanna do is bust a glass on my cab tractor. All right, so if y'all wondering where we're at, we're down here in my food plot, just trimming along. There's no way we can get all this today. I need to cut this entire perimeter here. 
and Josh was just talking about these trees right here. These are actually persimmon trees. You can see we still have a last little bit of persimmons hanging on right there. They were loaded this year, absolutely loaded, just thousands of them, but they've already dropped for the season. And here is my deer blind, but I have sadly got to cut these persimmons because when they load up, they hang down so low that they hit even the lawnmower right here. So we're gonna drop the last little bit of this stuff, and I think we're gonna go get the tractor to start chipping. So we're about to take the Solus H24. This is a 24 horsepower tractor. And we're gonna run our Woodmax WM8M. This is an eight inch wood chipper. And I just discovered the other day in another episode, I didn't think this tractor was gonna have enough horsepower to run this because it's got a 200 pound flywheel in it. But I was pleasantly surprised that it will absolutely run it. And we chipped up to five inch material the other day. So this is gonna be awesome. Turning all of this right here into some mulch. We're just gonna blow it in a little pile right over here and then I can come back and scoop it anytime I need it with the tractor bucket. And we can use it for mulch or allow it to turn into compost. y'all want to know what's crazy those several huge piles of limbs are now gone <laughs> all turned into just that you'd think there'd be a bigger pile here 
but that's what I love about a chipper. Big nasty mess. I mean, several dump trailer loads of limbs now down here in this nice little small pile. All right, so what's your thoughts on the uh, tractor and chipper combo right here? So that was impressive. So I wasn't sure if the 24 horse was gonna move this chipper and man, it ate through that stuff, no problem. I think the biggest piece we had might've been three inches today. Yep. All hardwoods. And I think what I'm most impressed with is that pile of brush turned into that pile of mulch right there. That's what always impresses me. That's why we love running a chipper so much. Take so much junk, nasty debris. And y'all look at this, I mean, Two to three wheelbarrows worth of stuff right here come out of several dump trailer loads of material. But a chipper is now on my list of uh, must-haves, I think. I actually just had somebody, I think I mentioned to you, we do a lot of uh, invasive tree plate uh, treatment on our strip mine. And someone just commented the other day that, hey, when you treat them when they're, they're standing, you have all that debris there that's a fire hazard. And I kind of didn't think about it. He's like, you know, chipper's the way to go. Now I know the yep. is the way to go. I think if we could get out there and run through, we actually just had a big mulcher come through, forestry mulcher, uh, but that wasn't cheap. So yeah. I think what we paid for a day, we could we could probably buy one or two of these and and uh, do it ourselves and yeah. enjoy the outdoors. All right, y'all, we're gonna wrap this up. Josh, I appreciate you coming out and giving me a hand today, some free labor. Hey, <laughs> I appreciate you having me, man. It was a yeah. good time. Good it to totally you. sped up the process here. Once again, highly impressed with the chipper. Highly impressed with the tractor. I mean, this combo works great. And when you've got a set of helping hands feeding someone the material and cutting up the stuff that's split and won't fit down the throat, somebody can just stand at the chipper and somebody's bringing it to you, you can work so quick. I think we went probably on a 15 to 20 minute run there that the chipper did not skip hitting a limb. We were just steady feeding it. That's the way to make a chipper nice and efficient right there. So hopefully you enjoyed your time here at our place. I did, man. Beautiful place. Thank you so much All for having right. me. And thank you all for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.